was Chadwick Boseman's performance in 42 that really made us take a second look. There is, there is such an honor and dignity to the way that he played Jackie Robinson that we knew we needed for the character of T'Challa, the Prince of Wakanda. Chadwick is an amazing actor who we thought would fit perfectly with the MCU. Black Panther himself, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick, you know, he has a lot of uh, depth. It was amazing as an audience member to, to, you know, to look into his eyes and see what's going on. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one singer. Right. A lot of the things about the character are also true about Chad. He's very knowledgeable. He's an athlete, you know, a martial artist. He's had a lot of experience playing roles that come with a lot of weight, you know. So I think he has a he has a person, he has a guy, has a lot of has, has a lot of weight to him. I think he brings all that that stuff to the role. But not to mention that he's incredibly, you know, incredibly gifted as an actor and as a performer, and also as a storyteller in his own right. I am not king of all people. I am king of Wakanda. And it is my responsibility to make sure our people are safe. Because he is so prepared as an actor, and because his character is sort of flawless on set, it forced the other actors who had scenes with him to kind of raise their game and go, okay, this guy is not taking anything for granted. He's really leaving it all out there. So we have to keep up with him. What doesn't Chadwick bring to the character? I mean, he's regal and grounded, and he brings a gravitas to it. So all of this feeds his T'Challa, and uh, I think he wore the crown with dignity. He brought back! He brought back! He I've known him since I was about like 17, so I've known him for a really long time um, back in New York. He did the work, obviously. You know, I just think he did an incredible job being true to the, to the character. Wakanda forever! I had a great time with Chadwick. Just warmth and camaraderie came into it, of course, with a great deal of respect for his previous work. So when I looked at him with proud eyes, you know, they were as mother and, and also as, as comrade and colleague and Angela. It is your time to be king. I mean, Chadwick is just a powerhouse. He really is so talented. Every single movie he's made, there's this kind of this internal, almost nobility. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. He's such a soulful actor and um, so professional, so present. He really gives so much to the other person and he's awesome. And his presence on set, I think, makes up, kind of raises the stakes a little bit for everybody. Chadwick is a, he's a really smart, interesting, dynamic guy. And I think he was not overwhelmed but very surprised and somewhat taken aback by the amount of love it ceased to become just about how well he inhabited the role and all that stuff it's become part of our culture just as a symbol this welcome is is one of the most amazing things i've ever experienced it's fun to watch just what it means to people at times like I, in my head i'll be like well what does this do for the world? Like, actually, what is it? You know, is it actually valuable in, in this climate? And I have to say, yes, it actually is. Not because it, it makes people escape. I think when done right, um, it gives people hope. I found that it means a lot. So guys, that was me checking out the Chadwick Boseman tribute video that I had meant to do that, but I meant to do this like August 30th when it got released, but I just decided to take a break that weekend because I had heard the tragic news Friday night and, and I was very devastated when I found out he died. He had, he had such a great performance as T'Challa, and now he was basically taken away from us. Us at a very young age. He had this... He had... Can I, 
case he had cancer. Yeah. And I can understand why they haven't provided any updates for Black Panther 2. So because they were trying to care because they cared more about Chadwick's health. So I have no idea what they're gonna do with Black Panther 2 now that Chadwick is no longer with us. It, I heard the news, I messaged all my friends and my friend, all my friends, and I even messaged some of my, I even messaged um, some my follower, YouTube followers like to say Joe Markle and even, he, and even he could understand why there was, there was no updates for the second Black Panther, but anyway, that'll be it for this video guys, and and if you like this and want to see more, then don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120. But before I go, I just want to say, so long, guys, and Wakanda forever.